Hey everyone, I'm ExitSign250, and in this video I have something really exciting to show off. Recently, Duolite, who is a popular manufacturer of exit signs and emergency lighting, has sent me a sample of a new emergency light to review. This is an amazing opportunity for me, and I can't wait to overview all of the ins and outs of it. So anyways, just a few months ago, Duolite released a new product, and when I first heard about it, I was really excited. Now, being an exit sign and emergency light enthusiast, anytime a manufacturer releases something new, I get excited. However, when I saw this new product of dual lights, I thought it was an amazing concept and something I wasn't expecting. To give some context on this new emergency light from dual light, we need to first talk about the original version of it, and that is the EZ2. In 1982, dual light released the EZ2, an emergency light that was revolutionary for its time and would soon become both dual light's most popular product and one of the most popular emergency lights on the market. The EZ2 was so popular, it has been in production since its launch in 1982. However, recently, it's been discontinued in favor of this new emergency light. These days, we see LEDs everywhere. LED technology is now the future in lighting, and although the EZ2 was outstanding for its time, incandescent technology today is being phased out and deemed inefficient. Dual Light first introduced fully LED emergency lighting onto the market in 2011 with the Evolution series, proving LED should be the industry standard. While Dual Light introduced LED models, the EZ2 was still produced and sold while retaining its popularity. Now, after almost 40 years in production, the EZ2 has been redesigned and modernized into the new EZ2L. And today in front of me is the new Dual Light EZ2L. Taking a look at the box, we can look at the side label. As you can see, we have the EZ2L. You may notice the lamp type is LED. That indicates this unit is fully LED, a much needed upgrade for the original incandescent model. Opening it up, we find the instruction manual telling us how to install and maintain the emergency light. Now lifting this cardboard up, we find the unit itself. My first impression of this emergency light is how great it really looks. The best way to show this is by comparing it to the original EZ2, which it was based off of. You can see that there is a significant difference. The EZ2L takes up almost half of the EZ2, and although I've always liked the original EZ2, it has always been very bulky and to some an eyesore. But with the new EZ2L, it easily fits in with any environment. Something great with it is the design. It resembles the original EZ2 perfectly, from the lamp head appearance to the body and the overall looks. Again, as a collector and enthusiast, dual light nailed the appearance. The adjustments on it are great, just about the same as the original EZ2. To remove the unit from the mounting bracket is similar to most other modern dual light emergency lights. There are two small tabs to press in with a flathead screwdriver on the sides of the emergency light. The original EZ2 had two screws to loosen. The internals are about the same as the dual light EV. Speaking of which, here is a comparison of both. You can see the EZ2L is a bit bigger than the EV, but not by much. Another key difference between the EV and EZ2L is the lamp brightness. The standard EV outputs 125 lumens per head, while the EZ2L outputs 139 lumens per head. Although I've always liked the EV series emergency lights, my new favorite modern emergency light would have to be the EZ2L. I've always liked traditional emergency lighting, which the EZ2L resembles, while remaining modern. The EV is still a great unit, but I do like the EZ2L more. A neat feature with the EZ2L is the battery compartment. You might have noticed on the inside there was no battery. That's because it's located externally. You can see there is a small battery icon on the housing. If we pull this tab, it reveals the battery. Dual Light originally implemented this feature on the EVHC. It is an option to have an easy access battery door on the EVHC, while on the EZ2L it is a standard feature. Although I think this is a great idea, I do see some flaws. As others have pointed out, an electrician, contractor, or someone servicing it may not know where the battery is and might not plug it in or know where it is to replace it. Even though the manual does state where the battery is located, not everyone will read or have access to the manual. Another issue I see is the door latch. The EVHC has a screw to securely hold the door closed, but the EZ2L does not, only relying on plastic to hold it in. If the emergency light gets hit or potentially tampered with, the battery door will easily open. My suggestion would be adding a push tab on the top of the unit that will securely keep the door closed unless the tab is fully pressed down. With the outward appearance overviewed and the insides checked out, 
Let's install it and see the performance. This is the standard model of EZ2L. Options include black housing and self-diagnostics. You can see the green light indicating AC power. It would be neat to see the LED red as the original EZ2's AC light was red, but I know Dual Light wants to have consistent AC light indicators with their current models. Pressing the test button, we can see how bright it really is, much brighter than the original EZ2. As far as the installation appearance, it looks fantastic. Again, I feel it blends in well with its environment and surroundings. Compare that to the original EZ2. Although I like it, it does take up a significant amount of space. As you can see, in emergency mode, the EZ2L lights up this large room easily. The original EZ2 does a decent job, but not to the extent of the new EZ2L. Overall, I am very impressed with the dual light EZ2L. It certainly lives up to its name and carries on the EZ2 legacy. From the appearance to the performance, the EZ2L is one of the best emergency lights on the market today. A classic design meets a modern look. I would like to thank the Dual Light team as well as Hubble for reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity to check out one of their latest products. It's hard to describe how awesome it is for an exit sign and emergency light manufacturer to send me a unit to test out and give my opinion on. Again, huge shout out and thank you to both Dual Light and Hubble. I'll leave links in the description to check out the EZ2L as well as other Dual Light and Hubble products. That's all for this video. Let me know what you think about the EZ2L in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.